Zebra's story is an epic adventure where something totally unexpected happens. Come with me, let's open the great book! A long, long time ago, in Israel, there was a prophetess called Deborah. A prophetess? What do you mean? Prophetess is the feminine for prophet. A prophet is a person who receives a message from God and announces this message to the people. But Deborah was not only a prophetess, she was also a judge. In Deborah's times, Israel did not have a king yet. That's why there were judges, to help the people solve their problems. Deborah would do her job every day under a palm tree. She used to receive the people in the fresh shadow of that tree to help them solve their problems. In those times, there used to be a city near Israel called Hazor. Their army was enormous and they were enemies of Israel. Their commander, Caesarea, was a bad man and he had 900 iron chariots. This army had been oppressing the sons of Israel for 20 years and the people cried out to God for help. Remember when I said Deborah was a prophetess? So, when God heard his people crying for help, he delivered Deborah a message. The message would be delivered to Barak, but first, let me introduce him. Barak was a warrior in Israel, a military leader. But Israel's army was much smaller than Caesarea's. And also, they didn't have any iron chariots. What a difficult mission Deborah was giving Barak. And now what? Do you think he should obey God even knowing that he had no chance of winning that battle? Barak thought about many things. First, the enemy's army was much bigger and they also had those 900 iron chariots. And what did Israel's army have? Ah, Barak remembered something very important. God was with them. The Lord himself sent Deborah that message. So, Barak made up his mind. He said, Deborah, God spoke to you about this battle. So, if you come with us, God is going to help us win. So, if you come with me, I will go. Go to war? Deborah was not a warrior. She was a judge. I wonder if she's going to accept Barak's request. It's true that Deborah was very obedient to God, so even being a very difficult task, she courageously said yes. Deborah and Barak gathered 10,000 men of war and went up the mountain to face the huge army of Caesarea that had oppressed so much their people. While Barak went down the mountain with his army towards Caesarea's army, Deborah stood up there, trusting God and the message she received from him. What a challenge, isn't it? Watch your small army march towards 900 iron chariots and even though, be sure that God will help you win. But Deborah was a woman of faith. Suddenly, something totally unexpected happened. God poured heavy rain in the battlefield. That formed a lot of mud. This made Caesarea's iron chariots bog down. Wow, God amazingly helped his people. He helped Israel's army to win their enemies. And they had peace for 40 years. What a story, isn't it? Every time you go through difficult situations, do like Deborah and Barak. Trust God. He is always by your side to help. Even if something seems impossible to your sight, the Lord can change anything. 
He is the Almighty God. Did you have fun? So press the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. See you soon. Bye!